Hey guys, it's Fo from MamaAndMoney.com where I teach you how to make and manage money to become financially free. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my Black Friday shopping hacks. So if you're interested in learning how I save and make money from Black Friday shopping, stay tuned. All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to be sharing my four Black Friday shopping hacks that I use to save even more money and to even make money when I do my Black Friday shopping. So let's hop right in. When it comes to holiday shopping, first and foremost, the planning and the getting ready starts at the top of the year. In fact, it probably starts the year before the day after the previous year's Christmas. So I talk about how we budget and plan for Christmas throughout the year in another video that I'll link in the cards above. But in that video, I'll teach you how we budget, how we save and how we plan for Christmas for a, from a financial standpoint. But in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how I actually go about shopping and saving money when I shop on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Now, let the truth be told, I do not like going out to the store for Black Friday shopping, so I do all of my shopping online because one, I can ship it directly to people's homes for the holidays if I'm not going to see them, but two, I'm able to leverage the online space to save and make more money. So here's the first thing that I do to actually save and make money for Black Friday and Cyber Monday shopping. First things first, you got to plan. Yes, you have to plan for your shopping. You should know in advance the deals that are out there. You should know in advance what you're actually going to be buying. You will already have your list that I talk about in my previous video, but you're going to go ahead and plan in advance. And to help with planning, I created a whole Google sheet that allows me to input what I plan to buy, who I plan to buy it for, where I plan to buy it from, and the link to actually buy it. So in my Christmas planning spreadsheet, I have all the things that you will need to actually go in and plan your Black Friday shopping. So the first thing that you want to do is plan ahead of time. Know what you're going to buy. Go look at deals. A lot of sites will already have it out there what will be on sale. So go ahead, put the links in your planning sheet so that when Black Friday hits or when Cyber Monday comes, you can just click that link add it to your cart and go ahead and buy it. So the first tip is to plan ahead of time. And I recommend using my Christmas planning spreadsheets. My second hack is to use Amazon Prime. I do about 95% of my online shopping on Amazon just because it's simple, it's easy, they have almost everything on Amazon, but also because I have Amazon Prime and can get products within two days shipping. So if you want to make the most out of your Black Friday, Cyber Monday shopping experience, and get it as close to shopping in the store as possible, sign up for Amazon Prime because the products will get there within two days or you can elect to have it ship a little bit longer and they'll give you incentives for doing that, like getting a discount on some of their digital products, getting like a coupon or something if you delay the shipping. Now, Black Friday, I will tell you, it's gonna be a busy time for Amazon. Cyber Monday, even on their Prime Day, which is in October, that's gonna be a busy time for Amazon shipping. So if you go ahead and buy it now and know it can be delivered later, go ahead and take advantage of the incentive of delaying your shipping or get Prime and you get the free two-day shipping. You don't have to worry about shipping from other websites that you're gonna have to pay for when you shop. So get Amazon Prime. I have a link that will get you a free trial to Amazon Prime. You don't have to pay anything, child. So all you have to do literally is wait until a few days before Black Friday, sign up for the trial. If you don't wanna keep it, if you don't wanna pay the 99 or whatever it is we pay now, cause it's going up, just get the trial in enough time to do your Black Friday, your Cyber Monday, your holiday shopping to get those, those quick two day shipping. And then if you don't wanna use it, you can cancel it. But sign up, I have a 30 day free trial that you can use using the link in the description. My next hack is using Rakuten. If you've not heard of Rakuten before, I don't know what rock you're living under, but you want to check out Rakuten. Rakuten is a shopping browser extension that can tell you all about deals, discounts, and will give you cash back for your shopping that you do through the app or through their website. So if you choose not to shop on Amazon, that's completely fine. All you have to do is get the Rakuten plugin extension or browser extension. When you go on the website to shop, it'll pop up if there are any discounts available, if there are any coupon codes, and it'll tell you how much cash back you will receive 
receive from your purchase. I use Rakuten for literally every purchase that I make online. And I have made over $600 using this extension. So if you haven't jumped on the wagon, you want to jump on the wagon. I will leave a link in the description of this video for you to sign up for Rakuten. And when you do and you make your first shopping experience for $25, you'll get $10. So who doesn't like free money, which you can then use to do shopping later on. It's all about getting the hacks, guys. So definitely sign up for Rakuten, use it. I feel like a lot of people will sign up for it and then they don't use it and you wonder why you aren't getting the benefits of it. You have to use the app or use the browser extension when you shop so that you can actually get the cash back and they will send you actual money, a PayPal <laughs> deposit, or if you want a live check, they can do that too. But they will send you actual money with your cash back. So this is free money that you are missing out on, but you definitely want to take advantage of when you do your holiday shopping, especially Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So again, I'll leave a link for you to sign up for Rakuten to get that free money when you sign up in the description of this video. My final tip is another way to get cash back, and that is to scan your receipts. So if you do plan on going out and about to the stores and doing shopping and you don't plan on doing online, save your receipts. And when you save your receipts, you can scan them into Fetch Rewards. Now Fetch Rewards is another app like Rakuten that you can get cash back from. In this case, they don't give you cash, but they give you points that you can use towards gift cards um, and all kinds of other things. So when you get your receipt, save it. And then when you get home or even after you leave the store, scan it into your Fetch Rewards app. You'll get the points from scanning your receipt. And those points can be used to get gift cards to things like Amazon, Target, you name it. And guess what you can do with those gift cards? You can then use them to purchase other Christmas gifts or to save them up to buy something for yourself, whatever you prefer. But this is like my number one hack. When you make a purchase, you have to maximize it to get that cash back and to get those uh, gift cards that you can use to pay for other stuff. Make your money go as long as it can by leveraging cash back apps. So my fourth and final hack is to save your receipts and to scan them into fetch rewards so that you can get points towards gift cards that you can use to either buy other gifts for the holiday season or save them up to buy something later on. All right, guys. So those are my Black Friday and Cyber Monday shopping hacks. I hope they were useful to you and I hope that you use them. Don't forget to check the description box for all the links that I mentioned to get the free trial and to get your free money from Rakuten. Let me know if these hacks work for you. I'll talk to you in another video. Bye.